Hey, Sean, I, I know you mentioned Monday, Jameson Crowder was likely heading to injured reserve. I was just curious why that move hasn't happened and if you still expect that to happen here shortly. Uh, yeah, I do expect that to happen. Why it hasn't happened is, you know, probably a better question for Brandon. But overall, um, sometimes just, you know, um, being calculated in the, in the moves and one move affects another and, and so on and so forth. So we've got obviously, you know, some guys in those situations right now. So it's just probably not as clean as, it, as you'd think it would be. Okay. And with Dawson, I know a week ago it was a back and a hip, and now it's, it's something else that he's dealing with here and, and he's out for the game. Is he still dealing with the back and hip stuff on top of the, the things he's listed with this week? Yeah, he's just got a couple <clears throat> couple things going on there that um, are going to make him unavailable for the game, really, overall. So, uh, But we, we'll hopefully get him back in, in, the next, in the next week here. Okay, Thanks, Sean. Yep. Hi, Sean. Um, we were talking to Steph a couple days ago, and, and he was asked about Devin Singletary. And he, of course, said that he's a baller, but then went into kind of some of the things that make him, you know, really respect in the locker room, the stuff that you don't necessarily see on the stat sheet. Is that your experience in terms of what he brings to the team in, in just his work ethic and some of the things that maybe go a little bit unnoticed? Yeah, absolutely. He's, you know, he's an all around guy, all around player that way. Um, you know, you watch the ball gets thrown down the field, not to him. And he's one of the first ones to, to follow the play and, and to cover up or throw a block for someone. Like you said, it's those things don't, don't show up on the stat sheet, uh, but the players, uh, the players are aware of that and they realize uh, his, his impact on our football team. Mm -hmm. And obviously, like we talked a little bit about the running game earlier this season, how is, how important is it to have a steady guy in the room like Devin when things maybe aren't going well, when you want to try to get that thing turned around, having a guy like that? Yeah. I mean, he's, his, his consistency, his consistent approach uh, beginning with that is, is big. And, um, you know, the character uh, also, that's where that comes into play, right? When you're, when things aren't going well, that you have the right people in the locker room and the room in this case that um, are going to continue to be resilient and push through it. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate it. Yep. Hey, Sean, I think on Wednesday, you had mentioned it was sore ribs for Jordan, Jordan Poyer. I was wondering if you could just clarify the severity of that and if there's any, um, sense that it might linger past this week too, if he has a timeline past Sunday's game? Yeah, that's uh, generally speaking, I don't want to go into the details on it uh, any more than I, than, than I need to right now, but it's just generally, it's generally ribs and, and soreness in that area and uh, some of the things he's dealing with along with that. So uh, but we'll see where it goes here. Okay, thanks. Hey, Sean, it's Jay with the Buffalo News. I know you said on the radio that Isaiah is still in concussion protocol. I just wanted to clarify, are you declaring him out for Sunday's game or does he still have a chance to maybe come out of that? And, and yeah, hi, Sean. How are you doing today? Good, Sal. How are you? Okay, so you got me. I'll, I'll follow what Jay's question was. He was asking, to, he wanted a clarification on whether you are ruling out Isaiah because of concussion protocol. You, you were a little bit um, unsure about that. Well, he, he still remains in the protocol, so I can't go any further. Um, we'll see where it goes uh, once we once we get through it here in the next couple of days. Okay, and then finally, I just you know I'm looking at these injury reports, Sean, and you guys had uncommon good luck the previous two years. I think you would agree. Is this just one of these things where it's the NFL and it just comes around? <laughs> I mean, you just go through these things. Yeah, I mean, again, I think you know. You, you want to be able to handle adversity. We're going through it right now. The last probably this is, I think, four weeks, you know, with the with the injuries, the way they've been. And um, it's not something we can control. The part of it we we we, we do, we look into um, as to, you know, why and, hey, can we do anything better? And, and so you're always asking yourself those questions. But um, the bigger picture here is we're going to play a game Sunday and, and uh, we have a lot of confidence in the guys that are going to be asked to, 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 uh, to step into those roles. Okay. Thanks, Sean. Yep. Hey, Sean, I was curious with Dawson being out, um, just how much does that change what the offense looks like and how do you feel about, obviously, Tommy's been inactive some, but the depth behind him that you guys will have for Sunday? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have, uh, 
Q Morris there and, and, and uh, Tommy's definitely an option for us there. We have a lot of confidence in, in him as well.